Okay, hi everyone. So today I'm going to be demonstrating a talking to the text activity that you can use in your classroom. Talking to the text is a strategy used to help readers understand the meaning of a text in a deeper way. Basically, you'll be reading the text and recording your thoughts on the paper as you read it. So now we're going to start. So you can notice that I crossed out some of the words on the page. That's mainly because we're only going to be focusing on this page and some of um, these words refer to other parts of the section. So I just crossed them out so we, we don't have to focus on them. Um, you're going to see here that there's a key ideas box. So I'm going to circle that when I see key ideas, I think important and then it says um, the key idea is identify the three major types of rock and explain how each type forms so because this is important I'm going to highlight it and then there's another box that says why it matters some rocks crumble and others make for solid buildings. The physical and chemical properties of rocks are determined by the conditions under which they form. So physical and chemical are words that um, stand out to me. And these are actually words that are going to be covered in other parts of the chapter. But you can circle them to go back to them. Um, and then also conditions. When I see conditions, I think of maybe like, example, a condition could be like the climate of the area that, form, that the rock was formed under. Okay, so the material that makes up the solid parts of the earth is known as rock. So rock is italicized, so I'm going to highlight it because it's important. Rock can be a collection of one or more minerals, or rock can be made of solid organic matter. So minerals is something that um, students need to know the definition of before they um, start learning about rocks. So we can maybe write like review definition. Um, also made of solid organic matter. When I see organic, I think of like made from animals or plants, nature. Okay, um, in some cases rock is made of solid matter that, that is not crystalline, such as glass. This is another important word to go back to. Uh, geologists use the forces and processes that form and change the rocks, the rocks of the Earth's crust. So for, forces and processes I think are important. Based on these studies, geologists have classified rocks into three major types by the way the rocks form. So I think that um, three major types is really important because um, like this section focuses on rocks. And you can see here that it says three major types of rocks. So it's really important for students to know that there are three types. So I'm actually going to highlight that. Okay, so three major types of rock. Volcanic activity produces igneous rock. The word igneous is derived from a Latin term that means from fire. So igneous is italicized. I'm going to highlight it to give it some emphasis. Um, and then it says that it means from fire. I like that the author used um, this phrase to kind of help the student picture um, where the igneous rocks come from. So I'm going to highlight that because that could be helpful. 
igneous rock forms when magma or molten rock cools and hardens. So magma is italicized, um, and it cools and hardens to form the rock. Magma is called lava when it is exposed at the Earth's surface. So lava is exposed at the Earth's surface. So basically, they just told us the difference between magma and lava. So to emphasize that there is a difference between magma and lava, I'm going to write here magma versus lava. Um, over time, natural processes break down all types of rock into small fragments. Rocks, mineral crystals, and organic matter ha that have been broken into fragments are known as sediment. So that's the definition of sediment. Um, I think maybe I can highlight that too. I think all definitions are important. Um, sediment is carried away and deposited by water, ice, and wind. So when I... When I see the word deposited, I think of like just being left in the corner, like, so I'm just going to say um, left out. Maybe that will help students remember what that is. Um, when these sediment deposits, uh, deposits are compressed, cemented together, and hardened, sedimentary rock forms. So compressed cemented and hardened are all um, important processes that form sedimentary rock. So I think I'll write that down. Those three here. Form said rock. Certain forces and processes, including tremendous pressure, extreme heat, and chemical processes, also can change the form of the existing rock. So three words that pop out to me are pressure, extreme heat, chemical processes. Um, and these are all like good vocab words that I guess students can look back. Um... Okay, the rock that forms when existing rock is altered is metamorphic rock. So here's another definition. Um, the word metamorphic means changed form. So the author here is using another um, comparison to explain what a metamorphic rock is. And finally, it says figure one shows an example of each major type of rock. So here is a sedimentary rock, here is a metamorphic rock, and here is an igneous rock. And students can look at it and sort of like the visual can help them like determine the difference between the three. Okay, um, that's it for our talking to the text activity.